district, one of the most popular nightclubs in the West End, is a go-to spot for the rich and famous. Most of the time, people are queuing around the block to get in. But last night was different. Here, protesters, some in high heels and evening wear, are accusing the club of discrimination in its door policy. One of the organisers was the actress, Zalika Miller. She was here on the weekend with friends. They were told they could get in, but when they arrived, it was a different story. I tried to speak to the manager. Lynn tried to speak to the door girl. I tried to speak to the door girl. No one was budging. So we left. As we were leaving on our way back home, Lynn then received a WhatsApp message from the promoter stating that you were fine and your friend were fine, but the two other girls were overweight. So what does then got to do with race? The fact that before he had basically said that if you're going to bring the dark skinned girls, make sure that they are good looking and hot. But I mean, that is what clubbing in Mayfair is about, looking a certain way. And there is a, a beauty tax applied to all women, not just black women. And it almost seems as if you were aware of that when you came down. Um, yeah, that is how it is in the clubs in Mayfair and the West End, but that's our point. It shouldn't be like that. So we tried to put the league's allegation to the club using every medium uh, hello? available. Hello? They've hung up. So why does any of this even matter? Well, since I first publicised this on Sunday on Twitter, so many young women have got in touch with me to say that they believe they've experienced the same thing, that they haven't got into a club because of the colour of their skin. So it's clear this is not just about one club. Brooke Norton, who says she's promoted for district on the weekend, claimed to have witnessed something similar. There was two white girls in the queue in front of us that got let in for free. And then when it comes to us, we had to pay. Well, my friends had to pay. Um, when I asked about um, why, when I said to, I can't obviously name, when I said to the, to the promotion manager, I said, why have they got to pay? He turned around and said, because they don't look to a good standard. Um, later that night, um, he basically said, oh, you know, not to bring black girls like that. We only want hot girls here. All West End clubs, all clubs of high calibre, want to ensure that they have the right clientele. And so therefore, they will profile their guests. This is just a natural part of clubbing, yeah, no? But, yeah, I suppose. But there, sh but there shouldn't be a, a policy where you can't get in because you're too dark or too fat. Most rules are because you're not wearing the dress code or you don't have the right ID or your group is too big or if it's a group of guys you don't have enough girls. That's the normal standard rules for a club, any club. More serious allegations that require an answer. This morning after sending an email, we called multiple times as you saw and waited and waited and waited. Then somebody appeared. Earlier this man said the club would not be releasing a statement. These are very serious allegations. Surely somebody should put out a statement. There's been nothing. With no comment from the club, we only have the words of the girls. We can't say why they were not allowed in. And facing a vacuum of silence, there are more questions than answers.